Steve Jobs did not graduate from Reed College in Portland, Oregon. However, would you consider him unlearned? Is an individual's background as important as where the individual ends up? George Washington Carver was born into slavery, yet he graduated from high school and college and became one of the foremost botanists in our country. Thomas Edison, who had many things against him in childhood illnesses, finished only three months of formal education, yet became an inventor and a businessman. Harry S. Truman, the 33rd President of the United States, worked on his family farm and served in the Missouri National Guard after high school. He never did attend college. If I were to put your name in a slanderous light, how would you fare? It is not how one starts, but how one ends. So please be fair. And now a word about God's divine plan by the thinking atheist. I am surprised how many intellectual atheists lay all the ills of the world and evils of society at the Lord's feet, abolishing them of the responsibility of murder, rape, or war upon themselves. They may as well be related to apes, as if instinct and dissolve all accountability. People of the world may run freely at will, with no regard to laws or regulations. This is not thinking, it is utter moronic philosophy. Satan made me do it, now becomes, I am predestined, for God made me do it. As to the destructions of nature, earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, and killing catastrophe forces, let's also blame God as well. However, if God is responsible for natural cosmic chaos, then the planet that slammed into the early Earth forming, that knocked the core around and spewed hot matter into Earth's orbit, coalescing later to become our moon, the atheist might as well assume that God is the creator of the universe. What you are saying is, in truth, that God did have an influence in the formation of the cosmos. And so some of you atheists who continue to write and produce videos on YouTube to some of the religionists with such venom, for whatever the reason, either personally on religion or in evolution, either to a transitionary fossil in the Precambrian to Cambrian and the origin of a self-replicating molecule or cell, until you get those answers, you look at yourselves in the mirror, you have no room to speak.